EG4 Power Pro System. Solark 15K with Renin Excellent Plus battery. Which is the best hybrid inverter and battery combo on the market in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're coming back to you with another head-to-head -head comparison. This one looking at two leading hybrid inverters, the EG4 Power Pro system and the Solark 15K paired with the new Renan Excellent Plus battery. Now, when we talk about hybrid systems, basically what we mean is it's a system that has the ability to run on the grid or off the grid. And so that means basically it's gonna be a solar inverter and you're gonna have some battery storage attached to it as well. Now, in the case of the EG4 system, we're looking at the new Flexboss 21 hybrid inverter and the new EG4 wall mount battery. Now on the Solark side, we're looking at the Solark 15K, that tried and true Solark 15K, paired with the new Renin Excellent Plus battery. Now before we compare, I should really say that these products, they probably have more in common than they have apart. Uh, there's a lot in common, I'm gonna get more into it later in the video, but as far as the basics, these are both low voltage, 48 volt nominal systems. So when we say low voltage, typically we're talking about a 48 volt nominal system. That is the standard that emerged going back probably about 20 years ago now for off-grid battery based systems is that 48 volt standard. Technically the batteries operate slightly higher at about 51 volts, but they, it would still be considered a low voltage battery or a 48 volt nominal battery. Now also these are modular systems, meaning that you know, on the case of EG4 side, you don't have to use EG4's own battery, although that, that is the trend is EG4 is going more toward, towards the all-in-one route. Uh, but in the case of Solark, as you can see, in today's video, we're gonna look at Solark paired with the Renin battery, but you could use any 48 volt nominal battery. Pretty much all of them out there are compatible with a Solark inverter. Uh, and of course, these are DC coupled systems, meaning that the, the interface between the solar and the battery happens on the DC side, so you can take advantage of the more efficient DC to DC battery charging, as opposed to an AC coupled system, which is easier to retrofit, but inver involves multiple conversion losses going from DC power to AC and then back to DC to charge your battery. So these systems have a lot in common here. All right, first up is the EG4 Power Pro battery. Now, each Power Pro battery has a maximum output power of 10.2 kilowatts. And that means that basically that you're gonna reach the limit, the output limit on a single battery before the inverter will hit its output limit. The inverter could actually do 15 kilowatts or 16 kilowatts if there's solar power present, but you can only pull 10 kilowatts at a time per battery. So if you wanna have a system that has the ability to run at full power uh, during a blackout during evening hours, then you're gonna wanna install two or three batteries. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each Power Pro battery provides 14.3 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Now, again, technically you could install the system with just a single battery, but I think most of you that are looking for a true whole house backup are gonna wanna install the system with two or three batteries as depicted here, so you can have a true whole house backup through the entire evening even if you wanna run heavy loads like central air conditioning. Now in terms of warranty, you have a 10 year warranty on the battery uh, and on the inverter. And that's kind of what we're seeing emerge as the standard for these home battery systems. Now in terms of cost, EG4 is very cost competitive on the inverter side. In fact, it's probably the lowest cost hybrid inverter of this caliber that's on the market today. However, it might be a little bit higher on the battery side if you're looking at cost per unit or cost per total kilowatt hours of storage, but overall a very cost competitive solution. And in terms of cycle life, you have 8,000 cycles on the EG4 wall mount battery. Uh, and of course, EG4 is now using the, the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. So this is the EG4 Power Pro system with wall mount battery. All right, up next is the Solark 15K paired with the Renin Excellent Plus battery. Uh, now in terms of power output, you also have 10.2 kilowatts of continuous power output per battery. Now again, same, same issue here. Each battery is gonna be limited to, to 200 amps of output, so that, that works out to just over 10 kilowatts of output. So if you wanna be able to run the inverter at max power, which the, the Solark 15K is of course a 15K output power, then you'd have to install with multiple batteries as depicted here. Now in terms of storage capacity, each battery provides 16 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So slightly higher capacity 
on the Renan battery here. Uh, in terms of warranty, uh, you're also gonna get a 10-year warranty with the Solark and Renan combination. Uh, and in terms of cost, I think what you're gonna find is the Renan battery is gonna be slightly lower on cost. Uh, again, if you're, especially if you're looking at total cost per kilowatt hour storage. However, the Solark hybrid inverter is slightly more expensive. Uh, and I should just take a, a moment to mention, Solark really pioneered this architecture of, of hybrid inverter, where you have your solar charge controllers, your inverter charger, your generator support, and your switching all in a single enclosure. Solark really invented that design. A couple of other companies that are on the market now have sort of borrowed that design and made some certain tweaks to it, but Solark was the pioneer of what we would call the modern low voltage hybrid inverter. Uh, in terms of cycle life, you also get 8,000 cycles uh, on the battery here. Uh, and of course, Renan also does use the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. So this is the Solark 15K with the Renan Excellent Plus battery combination. Uh, again, folks, like I said, these, these products probably have a lot more in common than they have apart. So in summary, with the Solark Renan combination, you've got 10 kilowatts, 10.2 kilowatts output power, 16 kilowatt hours of storage capacity per battery, uh, 10 year warranty. Uh, I would say middle of the road in terms of cost. Again, with the Solark Renan combo, you're gonna have slightly higher inverter cost, slightly lower battery cost. Uh, 8,000 cycles on the battery, and of course, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. For the EG4 Power Pro system, same 10.2 kilowatts output power, which basically translates to 200 amps on the battery. Max continuous draw of 200 amps on the battery. So if you want to run your, your inverter at full power, make sure you install two or three batteries. You get 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage per battery on the EG4 side. A 10 year warranty. Middle of the road in terms of cost. Again here with EG4, you're going to have lower cost on the inverter, but slightly higher cost per kilowatt hour on the battery. Uh, also covered for 8,000 cycles and also using the lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Uh, so again, folks, I, as I said at the beginning, these products probably have more in common than they do apart. Although what I think you're gonna see is that EG4 is going more the route of the all-in-one solution provider, all under one uh, manufacturer's software platform with closed loop communication. Uh, with Solark, Solark is still a battery agnostic platform. So you're able to pull in batteries from other providers like Renan um, and Solark is committed to playing nice with all of those other providers. Also, I should mention, both of these companies are based in the Dallas, Texas area. Uh, they're actually within about an hour's drive of each other, um, and they are both committing to a, a domestic content and a made in USA inverter and battery line in the near future. So again, e even more that they have in common here, and I think, you know, frankly, these are gonna be the top two, the top two brands, the top two combinations that you see in the hybrid space uh, in 2025. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos as they come out. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at solar and battery storage for your home, now is the time you need to take action if you want to get the system installed before that 30% tax credit expires. So as always, if you need to get a price quote or you need to get a comparison quote, feel free to reach out to us on the link here. You can talk to one of our experts or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and batteries cost in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.